Shadow Coast here, and welcome back to the Battletech Season Pass campaign. So we have a little out of action due to injury for Medusa and Shadow Coast. We did pick up Archangel, which is great. We're going to take a look, and we are going to take on War Council in this episode, and I believe that will lead into a priority mission, which we will tackle. Um, there so this will be a priority mission campaign just taking a quick look I want to bring tactics up and piloting up so we're gonna kind of go even across the board uh, behemoth we are close to ace pilot Decker we are close to ace pilot glitch just got a master tactician so glitch will be in our um, Highlander for the majority of the time uh, we will bring up a few points with Glitch. Sorry. Medusa just got East Pilot, which is great. And Shadow Coast now has Breaching Shot. So Shadow Coast, we will be going up the line to get our called shot bonuses in our tactics tree. Once we get a few of those, I'm hoping we'll get a Marauder. And we'll do some advanced farming tactics. That's right. So without further ado, we're going to jump in and take on War Council. I think this is a little more talk and will lead to another priority mission. Just drinking some water. Hopefully that's not too loud. So far I'm really enjoying this campaign. It's nice to see the various uh, season pass content pop up here and there. Um, once we finish the main campaign, we'll definitely be running additional missions and episodes to take full advantage of all it has to offer or to the best of our ability. We're going to stop by engineering. Uh, this one improves the library. Uh, we're actually going to go with the med bay, even though this is super pricey. We want to make sure we're minimizing our time down. And then we can finish off this. Uh, I do think once we fully upgrade recreation we will add a second mech bay. I think that's actually good to have. We will fully upgrade the Argo so we will have three bays um, each with six and you, we're gonna see us add back in a few mechs that we have in storage and then we'll be adding a bunch of other mechs specifically those from the DLC content. So we want, I definitely want a Raven. I want a Rifleman. We'll finish out a Vulcan. Uh, I think, I don't know if we have a Phoenix Hawk. If we do, we will get one of those. Um, and many, many more mechs to come. Cyclops, definitely want a Cyclops. I'm hoping to get a Cyclops, a Marauder. Um, and, and that will kind of be our Heavy Lance. Great. No text, no mechs. After receiving a troubling message from Yang, you rush onto the mech bay. Yang pushes between a mob of mech warriors and mech techs entangled in a shoving match at the Centurion's feet. A message welded into the Centurion sorcerer reads, No text, no mechs. You depend on us. A scrawny mech tech with a black eye shoves a wrench at the mech jockeys to emphasize every word. We deserve respect and that means a raise. I'll give you what you deserve, Archangel rushes forward. But Behemoth and Yang pull him back from the tech. We're the ones risking our necks. Yang raises a voice before anyone else comments. Set your traps, all of you. How do you want to handle this, boss? Um, all right, we're going to take a million sea bills for year-end bonuses to both. Whoa, look at that jump, guys. That was the right decision. Well worth a million sea bills. You climb up into the scaffolding, raising your voice so all that can hear. Each and every one of you works hard to ensure the success of this outfit, and you all deserve a bonus, regardless of rank or title. Everyone looks at you murmuring in surprise. Our lives aren't easy along the periphery, but each of you depends on others to survive out here. Mech techs and mech warriors. You're two sides of the same coin. Time for you to recognize it. You pause for a moment, letting your words sink in. We will set aside a million sea bills for a one-time bonus to be divided equally. Heads nod in the crowd and some people even share an agreement. When you check on the mech bay later that day, you notice Archangel and Behemoth hauling equipment over to the mech techs as they weld fresh armor over the Centurion's scorched torso. Each crew member is pitching in and working harder 
than you expected despite the tensions earlier. Yang pats you on the back. Smell that, boss. That's the smell of progress. So we've increased morale by four. A huge jump. You lost a million. Company gains plus four mech tech points uh, for 30 days. Archangel is now dependable. Behemoth is high spirited. Uh, and Behemoth has lost low spirited. I will take that. Um, I will take that. So we are going to continue on our way. We have to convene a war council. So Behemoth's tag expired low spirits. So has Deckers. Ooh, we blew through some cash pretty darn quick. So how far are we? So 39 to 40. So we need two more points to get into the next next level. Uh, it looks like. Now that that morale is important because the more resolve we generate in battle, the more we can use precision strike and vigilance, which we will want to use a lot of. We're at Weldry. We're gonna check. No Ronins, that's okay. We added Archangel. Looking at uh, mech equipment, they have a Stalker now, a Vulcan. Weapons, nothing, nothing. Equipment, cockpit mod, these could be good. Calm system, plus three resolve. An exchanger, heat bank plus plus. So, heck yes to a heat bay plus plus. So we're gonna drop money on that. We're gonna drop money on an exchanger, and we're gonna drop money on a comm system. So we just literally blew all our cash, but that's okay. Uh, let's launch into this war council. And I promise you that our forces are maintaining a firm upper hand against this false restoration. Thanks in part to the support of our newfound allies in the Torian Concordat. Just today, those allies, led by the heroic Commodore Samuel Ostacom, liberated my own daughter, Victoria, from insurgent captivity. And though the fight was hard, our new friends won the day through the strength of their courage and the virtue of their purpose. Soon, we will end this war. And when we do, we will turn our attention back to the expansion of our industry and the betterment of our people. Long live the Torian Concordat, and long live the Oregon Directorate! Lost Lord Corrosis. Ostrogard is kicking our butt. War Council in orbit. Weldry. Anna Maria, I summon you here to discuss long term strategy. But we have a crisis to address. You've seen my uncle's broadcast what Ostrogard did to Lord Corrosis. What is soldier? Uh, what his soldiers are still doing to the people of Smithen? I am honor bound to ride to their defense. Kamea, you've got much bigger things to worry about than Smithen. I won't mince words. Your cost is very nearly lost. With only a small faction of their fleet, the Tarians have you dramatically outgunned. Given the chance, the Iberia alone could break your army in two. Why are the Tarians fighting for the Directorate? Do you have any concrete answers? If you're looking for proof, I can't help you, but I can tell you what I tell you what I think is behind all of this: the Perdition Massacre. I believe that House Davian's attacks on the Concordant created an opportunity for Espinosa, and unfortunately for us, I believe that he has taken it. What opportunity? Spell it out for me. Protector Calderon believes that a Davian invasion of the Tiny Concordant is imminent. In the Directorate, he sees a convenient pawn and a buffer to protect a poorly defended stretch of the Concordant's border. If the Directorate's weapons have been coming from the Tarians, I, I imagine they've had an agreement in place for some time. Yeah, that timing makes sense. By arming the Directorate, Calderon would be fortifying his own borders against invasion. When Espinosa learned about Castle Nautilus, he must have used it as a bargaining chip to get the Tarians into the war on his side. In a limited intervention, but yes. 
Calderon would have leapt at the chance to claim an SLDF armory. With a major war imminent, the capture of fully stocked outpost castle could have provided the Tarians with a tremendous advantage. But he destroyed the armory and killed their soldiers, and apparently destroyed one of the, their drop shots on Anvelt. I sp suspect that your problems with the Tarian Concordant have only just begun. If Commodore Oscar wants to hurt us, he'll ask to find us. The Reach is a big place. Of course it is, and that's why the Tarian Battle Max are sacking Smith and even as we speak. He's trying to lure Lady Arano to him. It's a deliberate provocation, Kamea. You must realize that. We fought against the Tarians on our true. You know what we're up against, so let's talk about how we're going to win this. Not through a direct confrontation. If you let Ostergaard bait you into attacking him on Smith and you will die. As will Lady Orano. This isn't hyperbole, Kamea. You will die if you take the field against them, and your restoration will perish with you. What would you counsel me to do then? Nothing? Would you have me sit on my hands while a Tarian butcher murders the people I've sworn to protect? I advise that you lead your army wisely and stay out of battles you cannot win. Kamea, listen to me. There is still hope, but you won't find it on a better battlefield. The alliance between the Tarians and the Directorate is tenuous, far more so than they would have you believe. Protector Calderon knows what kind of man your uncle is. We could turn allies into enemies if we play our cards right. Yeah, if that's true, why would he join Espinosa in the first place? His nature, nation is teetering on the brink of war with the Federated Sons, Commander Hudson. And for all the Concordance bravado, I it would certainly lose uh, such a conflict. Given the circumstances, it is really so surprising that he'd accept the offer of friendship. If open warfare does erupt, he's going to need all the help he can get. As I said, I am sure that we can turn this situation to our advantage. Even as we speak, my agents are digging for information that will open a rift between our enemies, and I am confident that they will find it. But Kamea, none of this will mean anything if you let Ostergaard go to you into a suicidal charge. So I beg you, ignore him and stay away. She can't do that, Lady Centrella. If you'd been here before we liberated the system, if you'd seen the things you've seen, you know better than to ask. I appreciate your advice, Anna Maria, but were I to follow it, the Oregon people would lose faith in me, and they'd be right to do so. I owe it to them to better the, uh, to be better than that, and so I will fight, but not in the way that our enemies expect. Tell me what you mean. Ostergaard expects me to deploy my army against his forces on Smithen, to lead from the front as I have in our battles with the Directorate. You've convinced me that this is a risk I cannot take, and so if he expects me to come at him with a hammer, I will use a scalpel instead. I trust your company is up to the task, Shadow Coast. My company, alone against Tari and Assault Force, it'll be an adventure, Lady Irano. It will be an adventure. That it will, and I'll be guiding you on the comms every step of the way. You have my answer, Anna Maria. I won't take the field myself and I won't redirect my army. But I'll be damned if I let Ostergaard's troops slaughter my people without a fight. Your mercenaries have been one of your key advantages in this war, Kamea. By doing this, you're putting them at grave risk. But if your heart is set on returning to Smith, then I am powerless to stop you. Instead, I wish you good luck and take and, and take my leave. I'll be in touch with my agents no more, but please, Kamea, stay safe. I don't know if I can stabilize the reach without you. I won't let Ostergaard kill me, Anna Maria, I promise. Alright, so we will get uh, probably eaten alive by the Tarian War Machine. Lady Arano's contract to repel the Tarian assault on Smithen is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think we're ready. Well, hey, Commander. all our mechs are in tip-top shape. Uh... All our mech warriors are in tip-top shape. So I guess we're ready to go, guys. Here we go. Defense Smithen. Um, we're going to take it on. We are in this wild adventure. Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. Power interlock. If you don't bypass the faulty interlock, we're looking at a 17% drop across the board. Medusa is animated, physic practically shouting, and you try to remember how you got drawn into this argument. Apparently, with his technical background, Medusa thinks he has identified a serious flaw in the Argo secondary power interlock. 
For her part, Dr. Murad insists the interlock is working correctly. We're lucky it's only 17%. That That isn't the interlock. These systems have just missed several centuries worth of annual maintenance. Your plan would potentially expose the entire central core to an overload. If it doesn't work, Medusa, if it doesn't work, Medusa fires back. We're going to ask Dr. Murad to test Medusa's idea. Ah. If you say, Dr. Murad, he can run a small scale test to find out what would happen. She frowns at you, then says, I suppose it's worth examining. She turns to Medusa to develop a testing plan. A few hours later, the power goes out in the command center. When you find Dr. Mirage, she's elbow deep in pa power conduit. I can fix the damage Medusa's bright idea cause, but we're going to have to replace some parts. I will thank you to keep this Macquarie away from the critical systems in the future, Commander. Well, we trust her people. In this case, Medusa screwed up, unfortunately. Uh, but it seemed like, you know, 20,000... I understand why Medusa's low spirited, but I was hoping we got something out of trusting him. Maybe not. So we are on our way. To Smithen. Couple of jumps away. Let's dive into battle here in a few. So while I've played numerous uh, Arana Restoration campaigns, I'm actually I think I know what the upcoming mission is, but I might be confusing it with another one. So we will see once we get here. Slowly arriving. So, we're at Smithen. It looks like we do can use the hiring hall. Nothing here. Let's take a look at the store. We don't have that much money left. So we're going to look at mechs first. We have pieces of various mechs. We really want a Marauder. Um, weapons. AC 20 plus plus. It's 5 damage. AC. Plus 4 accuracy. Plus stability damage. Plus 2 accuracy. I'm going to buy this because I like accuracy. We want to hit. And we have one. Alright. So. Archangel is fairly effective in there. Do I want sensor lock? No. I want multi-shot. If i thinking this is the mission, I think it is. We want multi-shot. And we actually want Behemoth and the Centurion, which I th think is equally as mobile, but has more firepower. I also want to try the Ultra Auto Cannon out. I, we haven't really played around with UACs that much. Get a Rifleman. I don't know if we could fit two tens in it. We will try. Three objectives. Protect the Krosis' dropship. At least two dropships must survive. Protect the docking pads, fuel reservoirs. In the wake of Comrgord Ostergaard's initial attack, the Tarian battle mechs have continued to wreak havoc in the, uh, on the general population. We have dropships en route to evacuate as many refugees as they can carry, but the Tarians will target them if they get the chance. I need you to deny them that opportunity. If Ostergaard were pulling this anywhere but the Reach, the whole inner sphere would be screaming about war crimes. We can't let the Tarians get away with what they're doing here, Commander. Punish them for it. Command interface initiated. The spaceport in front of you is packed wall-to-wall -wall with civilians, most of them refugees from the capital. The Tarians have been targeting them as enemy combatants. I need your help to keep those people safe until we can evac them to safety. 
We have three of the late Lord Corrosives of dropships en route to assist with the evacuation. The captain of each vessel will call in an approach. Shepherd 1 will be heading for docking out Pallet Alpha. Shepherd 2, docking Pad Charlie. Shepherd 3 is heading for Pad Bravo. You'll need to keep the enemy's eyes on you and away from the docking pads. Above all, you need to keep them from firing on the docking pads' fuel reserves while the dropships are being loaded. Any hostiles that you fail to engage with will certainly target the fuel tanks. If they manage to take them, take one out, the resulting explosion will wipe out everything nearby, dropships, refugees, and you name it. You can see a fuel tank's estimated blast radius in red on your screen. Good luck, Commander. The Torians aren't going to make this easy. Protect our ships. Help them get our people home safe. Alright, guys. So we got enemies coming up. Now, the way we're going to set this up is that Behemoth and Glitch are going to block the incoming enemies uh, from here. Shadow Coast and Archangel are going to spread out and cover the dropships. So let's get to work here um, in just a minute. We have... Just doing some scouting. Scouting, don't mind me. This is a reservoir. Yeah, fuel reservoir 350. So they can take a little bit of a hit. That dude just ran really far up. Got an enforcer. Oh, we have some vehicles supporting us. Thunderbolt. Shoot this guy, yeah. Battle Master, that guy will do a fair amount of damage. Alrighty, alrighty. So. I went to minimize heat. Hey, we hit him. As long as you keep attacking those hostiles, they won't be able to focus on the fuel tanks. Keep pressuring them, Commander. So you're going to see why we have three multi shots. Because we basically want to ideally kind of hit everybody. So boom with the laser, boom, boom. One for you, and one for you. So we're just targeting them, and hopefully they're going to focus us. Shadow Coast, step up here. We're gonna take our LVX out. And. Engaging target. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. Yeah! Take that guy out. So we're going to do this and that. I forgot how heat efficient we are. Ooh. I thought that would do a little more damage. 
Alright, so we gotta target the enforcer. I think he's. Nice. CT destroyed. Shepard 1 is incoming full burn approach destination pad alpha. We've got enemies flankers coming in. Engage them before they. Guys, running up. Hey, Commander, I've got something on my sensors. All right, so we're going to. So we actually might jump glitch over here, to be honest. Ooh, that was the one we wanted to attack. Thunderbolt's coming in. Oh, don't, well, I wanted to take the Jenner out because it was a little bit easier, but let's see. They're going high ground, which isn't ideal. Alright, we're out of the blast radius. Gonna fire at this guy. Can't see the other guy. All right, Behemoth. Right, we're gonna kind of stay here. Thirty. We're saving because they're just generating so much heat. Ah, of course they take on this guy. So we're gonna focus him, and we'll have kind of a B. And boom. These two guys up here, I'm a little bit nervous about. Oh, now they. Oh, man. So I'm just moving Shadow over here. We're going to. Just focus this guy. That's enough. Oh, it is. Knocked him down. Nice. So we're going to jump shadow over here and kind of laser those guys. Keep them distracted. I'll take out that CT. Shepard 2 is incoming. Shepard 1 has arrived. More hostiles incoming, so we need to move. So we might move Shadow Coast over that way. Ah, they're firing on the turrets. Starting to target the uh, 
Those hostiles are engaging the fuel reservoir. The enforcers coming around. Oh, he was able to. I thought we get to go again in round one. I was gonna take out another tour turret. Darn it. Alright. Well what can I do for ya? Glitch. Just gotta get you. Ah, we needed that to hit the spider, blow him up. Alright, so these two guys are distracted. Nice. Money shot. That was huge. Thunderbolt's down, so we can now focus. Alright, these, the battle masters coming around and around. Alright, so. Shadow Coast. What are we gonna do with you, bud? Ooh. All right, so we're just gonna fire one at this guy. General direction. So distracted him. I'm receiving you. Archangel. Trying to hit all these guys. Nice. Wait some hurt on the fire starter. One hit the enforcer. Other hit the Jenner, so that means you just have to hit the battle master. Nice. We, is there no, there's no line of sight? All right, we're gonna jump over here. Place some um, fire down on the battle master. So we hit all of them except the one back here to the left. Nice. Shepherd two has arrived. To Shepard One, our payload is secure and preparing for launch. Jenner's gonna take on the striker. That little guy is very brave, but he's protecting the refugees. So we thank you for your service. Oh, did not think about the fire starter claiming me. He's in there. We're gonna run up there. Well, we can't. We can't really melee them because we need to fire at both. I jump over here and try to take one out. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's a panther over here. No. 
leave the fuel reserve reservoir alone. Yeah. Oh, damn it. We're gonna take out all our turrets. No, we like our turrets. They're our friends. Forcers. Oh, he's gonna. Damn. Well, you did great. We're gonna put Behemoth out here. We're gonna Vigilance her. And we're going to... Boom! Head shot! Dang! AC++ coming in hot! Or Ultra AC 10++ coming in hot. I will take that all day long. Good sir. Three enemies left to think about. Now... Shadow, you're gonna jump you here, and we are going to LB 10 fire. Gonna do. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put those on the Panther, but whatever. All right, so definitely got his attention. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of this, that, oh, that. So we got a little bit of damage on him to get his attention. Of damage on him, so I do recommend bringing multi shots. I brought three multi shot mech warriors, that seems to be fairly effective. Uh, we would love to farm the battle master, we just need to take care of some of these pesky other people. It's hot. You don't need to. No ah oh, man, the. Oh nice. You really hurt that guy. Goss rifle is not working out well. You're like firing into the ground. Oof. So I love our turrets. I don't think they think there's one left. This little guy. Battle master. Running in. Oh, now we have two turrets. Nice. Alright, Shepherd 3 is incoming. Shepherd 1. Uh, Shepherd 2, we got full of civvies and we're prepping for launch. Are there other enemies over there? I don't know. I'm hoping not. Oh. Head hits. Shadow Coast sustained an injury. Um, so it says there's seven left. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I don't think we need to go back here. We are going to reserve down. Let a bunch of their lights move. Uh, to overheat us. What a jerk. What the heck was that? That was ballsy, little spider. That was very ballsy. Going for our turrets. We like our turrets. Leave our turrets alone. Shadow taking some damage, that's okay. We're in cover. We 
use an X. We're just gonna we're gonna check down fully. And part of the reason we're gonna check down fully is we're gonna see if we can flank. Ah, now we're down to one turret and it's kind of far away. So we're going to check down fully and the question we're asking ourselves is one, now that there are no more turrets to hit, can we jump to a safe distance? Waiting on you, Commander. So for example, yeah, nice. I take the gas rifle out, one, two, uh, I take this off. You are C, A, B. Take that off. A, B, C. So we've got the Spider Commando Battle Master all taking fire. Oh, nice. Yeah, wasn't much up there. Behemoth, we are going to vigilance you. And can you not? Oh no, the battle master is standing in the way. Alright, well. I'm copy. Can we medium laser somebody? Hit the enforcer. Nice. Waiting for orders. Archangel is going to try to path over here to a degree. Onward. And we're going to use everything we got because we would really like this guy to die. Shooting him in the back. Whoa. I think he might be incapacitated. Nope. Oh, really? Aw oh, man, that sucks. I was rather hoping um, I'd be able to get in the water there, but... Not the case. Hurt him. Hurt him. So we got their attention. Shepherd 3 is arrived. Shepherd 2 is off. Shepherd 2 away. Fantastic. Now I'd really like salvage from the battle master. So. Next two rounds. We might focus the battle master. And by focus him, we're just gonna try to blow up his back. That hit something good. Oh, that was Meyer damage, Commander. Nothing. Great. Well, ah, survived. Let's see for how long. Mm, I'm not gonna risk it because we're in Iron Man mode, guys. If we fail a mission, campaign over. So we are going to multi shot all of them. 
Ah. Here it goes. Now we have this laser over here. I forgot there were two lasers on this side. For some reason, I only thought there was one. Alright, so glitch. Let's... So I don't think these two guys are going to be able to reach this thing. So I'm hoping these two guys, I'm going to let them be for now. I'm going to target him, him, and, oh, no. I'm going to target him. Him and him. That's because I only have one LRM. All right. Good show. Good show. So it's just this guy. It's going to be nice CT. the fire starter all right so we're gonna pop cool vent which is starting to grow on me Machine gun this guy. Doing a little damage. Ooh. So there's the commando over here who I did not who I did not hit over there. Chopper three, we have the last refugees. Buy us another few minutes and we'll get out of here. Great. So the fire starter is kind of uh, flaming. Behemoth's gonna take a. Lost my heat. I'm taking damage. Going for our last laser or last turret. Panther got in shadow. Battle master is really the only piece of salvage we want. So, man, can I? Yeah, I can move over here. I know it's hot, but. Vigilance. Yeah, that's the only thing we could do without. Our leg is so close. T 
Lucky shot. That should do it. Are there guns you can send before me? Waiting on you, Commander. No, we're gonna vigilance glitch. Boom, boom, boom. So C, E, A. We can take that one off. A. There we no go. Problem. Nice. Well, shot in his general direction. Ah, again. I don't think a single goss has hit. Same strategy. Trying to machine gun out that arm. Whoa. Alright, I thought he was going to punch the fuel reserve. Which we didn't care because that ship is can't take much more of this. left. Shepherd three away. Oof. Protected all three of them. Oh, we are still going. All right, well, we're still going. We will keep going. Uh, now that that lasted. A tactician. Technically, that should be two injuries, so that should be helpful. For salvage purposes, we'll see if we can get the away. Guys getting up close and personal and I'm not sure why. There's no need to. But I hear ya. Alright, so We are going to do this. We are going to see if we can get one goss to hit Oof. this guy's coming around will he target the tank We did a fairly decent job defanging um, the enemies. Here. So we're generating heat, so we're just going to use our LRMs here. Back. Engaging physical Boom. Did we hit anything? Alright, that was not efficient at all. Guy's gonna stand up. Now, ideally, we'd like to. Ooh, ow. Forgot he still has his PPC. Ooh, head injury. More under the bridge here, friend. 
forgot we gotta had to battle this out till the end. Oh, there goes the vehicle. I think that concludes all our support, but it is 4v4. Oh, snap. Ow. And around us. Alright, so... Working on that side. This guy's gonna get up. He still has his lasers. Shoot at us. Can you? So it is a little dangerous. But as long as we don't hit that thing. Seriously? Thank you. Yeah, how do you like that pen injury? Jerk. What can I do for you? You betcha. Um Nice. Goss finally connecting. Nice little crunch. Ooh. Just trying to take out that side. Alright, we're kind of hitting from the front side. I'm ready. Acknowledge. Moving away from the Alright, yes, we're just taking off evasion. Machine guns are so funny, it feels like they fire in every direction. Nice, knock down. That's three. 
but he gets back up. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. That's why we vigilance you. Oh, ow! He is an assault mech. Highly incapacitated. Woof! That's how you do it, guys. That's the last of them. Good job, Commander. If it wasn't for your lance, all those refugees wouldn't have died. Your mercenaries fought well, Lady Arano, but know that this has only just begun. None of us can return home until you have been captured or killed. For every Tarian mech that you destroy, ten more will rise to take its place. And we will defeat them, Commander, just as we defeated you. Woof! That was a fun one, guys. Uh, I'm glad I brought multi shots. I was pretty sure that was that mission, so that's why I over-indexed on multi-shot and it paid out. So 2.1 million. It's nice. We took a lot of damage on the Centurion. Uh, we have two pilot injuries, but that is okay because... Oh, we only need one piece to finish our Battle Master. I totally forgot about that. That's just straight up embarrassing. Let's see if there's anything else we would want. Um, well, darn, that was a hefty haul. We have our first assembled assault in a battle master. Pretty cool mech. We we're probably going to outfit it differently than most other people. Or definitely differently than the main way. The path forward in orbit over Smithen. You've done it, Shadow Coast. You faced off against the Tarian War Machine and forced it into retreat. If they can be driven out of one system, they can be driven from another. Your actions today have restored the hope of the Oregon people, Shadow Coast. Know that. Believe it. Once upon a time, I inspired people in the arena. It feels good to be that person again. I wish I could have seen some of your fights on Solo or 7, Shadow Coast. I'm sure they were sights to behold. For now, know that I am proud to fight by your side. And I hope that you're ready to pay for more of our brand of heroism in the near future, Lady Arano. We didn't destroy the Tarians, we only inconvenienced them. They attacked Smithen to get to you. There's nothing stopping them from doing it again someplace else. And we'll be ready when they do. Me on the comms and you in the battlefield. Together we will do whatever we must to defend the Restoration. Yes, you will, and this company will be with you to the end. I know it's Shadow Coast, and you will know my appreciation when our campaign is done. Lady Arano receiving encoder hyperpulse transmission. Must be a message from Lady Centrella. Hang on a second, I'll put it on screen. Kamei, I have news for you, both good and bad. We'll start with the good. My agents have established contact with House Gallus, the ruling family of Itram. They served Espinosa in the early days of the Directorate, but have since fallen into disfavor. Uh, house Gallus, with billowing sails, the founding house of the Regan Coalition, currently ruled by Lady Samantha Gallus. The Gallus House signal is a sailing ship with billowing sails cutting across the Green Sea. The ancestral seat of House Gallus is Itrum. Lady Gallus claims to have information that would prove extremely damaging to your uncle. The position her family once held in the director's power structure gives her words weight. Her house's downfall gives her motive. And now the bad news. Lady Gallus has been taken prisoner by the Director's Occupation Force. They have locked her away in her own castle, a gilded cage from imprisoned royalty. For imprisoned royalty. We can't reach her again without liberating the system. We'd get her if we'd, we'd, we'd get her killed if we tried. So there you have it. A path forward, regrettably, it won't be an easy one. And the Tarians will hound you every step of the way. But then you do have a way of defying my expectations. You always have. Best of luck to you, Lady Arano. I wish you success in the battle ahead. Well, there you have it, Shadow Coast. We know where we have to go next, Itram, right in the heart of the Directorate. To say that their defenses will be formidable is an understatement, and Ostrogard is going to uh, go on hounding us every step of the way. Are you sure that your people are ready for this? We've headed for a rough stretch of road. I don't think anyone has any illusions about that, but we can and we will handle it. 
You're damn right we will jack into hell with anyone who stands in our way. Let's get to it, everyone. Back to your station. we got a job to do. Versatile and powerful, the Battlemaster Wenji is one of the best known battle mechs in existence. Normally mounting a varied array of energy weapons, the Battlemaster can engage enemies at any range and packs a powerful punch. Um, we're going to turn in our 4G hunchback. Did well, my friend. All right, so. Repair this guy. Let's look at this guy. Just checking out some patterns. Yes, we're going to go with six little wings. You can see the black, white, and blue. Those are our colors. All right, so heavy brawler combat mech. Look at this. Basically, can make it whatever you want. Seven lasers, two ballistics. This guy is a sight to behold. You get, ooh, they're both in the same mount. All right. Um, we have one missile rack. All right, before we do anything, comm systems, yes. Heat exchanger, hell yes. Jump jets, yes. Heat bank, hell yes. Leg mod, no. Heat sink, yes. All right. R mod, oh, no. I don't think so. I, I would love to make it. He's just, uh, it's a heavy mech. He's already super slow. So that's not too attractive. All right, medium laser accuracy. Yes, please. Tag. Plus 20% damage mark. Tag takes up a lot of space. Let's look at energy. We don't have a PPC plus yet. Plus 20. LBX 10. Range standard. Alright, there is a ton of ballistic stuff, so let's see. Plus 5 stability damage, minus 1.5 tons. I think so. New weapon systems available. All right, we are over indexing on ballistics, but I think they're fun and awesome. So, right off the bat. Eight rounds. So one arm we're going to go ballistics. The other arm will go large laser. You know what? Let's pack a punch. Oh, maybe not. Large laser it is. And... Oof. Um, maybe not. Maybe we just build out some medium lasers. We don't need a, this tag. Well, the tag, um, specialized equipment that paints target for better impact. Efficiency from direct fire weapons and practical means that incoming damage from ballistics and energy weapon is boosted against any target that has been hit with a tag shot. So that is a nice option. Do 
few machine gun. Machine gun ammo is one ton. Small laser is 0.5 tons. So we might do that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I feel like I feel like I'm not doing this right. What do you think? Having a lot of fun at just energy and ballistics. So we don't need. We don't. Why not? Why not fill this bad boy up? Wow. Wow. Um, so we have a long range AC 10. And then we tag the target and blow them up with medium lasers. That could work. Um, that could work. Although, we could do this. I I like that Ultra AC-10. We got a small laser in case we melee. All right, well that's one crazy right. build. I'll get it in the schedule. Uh, that we're gonna go with. Hey, Commander, pull up the chair. Let me. Um, we're gonna well we're gonna call this an episode sorry guys i'm having way too much fun thanks for watching if you like what you see please drop me a like and a comment um and we will catch you in the next episode thanks for watching shadow coast out